So fermented foods are foods that now contain nutrients that the food naturally did not contain. And those new nutrients come about from the fermentation process, right? You're putting bacteria to break down the normal substrates of the food, and they're creating byproducts that are now super nutrients, right? These are similar to the byproducts that will be created in your gut, right? Remember, your large bowel is a fermentation vessel, right? So let's say you take sauerkraut, right? Um, and and uh, a fermented sauerkraut. Let's say you had a non-fermented version of the substrate itself, the vegetable. You eat that. What's supposed to happen is that's supposed to go into your large bowel and for the next eight to 10 hours, it gets fermented and becomes sauerkraut in your large bowel, right? Now, assuming you don't have enough diversity, the conditions aren't right, you may not get adequate fermentation out of it. But doing it outside of the body in a way and then consuming it gives your system an edge because you are producing all of those wonderful nutrients that come as a result of the fermentation.